Hello students. So in this video, we are going to talk about elastic vibration and elastic wave. And also for this case, we are going to talk about monoatomic crystal. So there will be only one atom per unit cell. So what actually happens when there is some vibration in the solid or in crystal, then it generates an elastic wave and generally the atoms or the planes of the atoms move along the uh, elastic wave or perpendicular to it so it can either move in this direction or in this direction this is the perpendicular this is the along so suppose there is some atoms are there and in this case we will take only nearest neighbors hmm. nearest neighbor we will consider only nearest neighbors so suppose this atom goes a displacement due to the vibration of us this atom goes us minus one and this atom goes us plus one right so the force the net force will be C US plus 1 minus US plus C US minus 1 minus US this net force exerted on this atom due to this vibration so that is C US plus 1 plus US minus 1 minus 2 US and this force can be written as m d2 us dt2 now this us solution has a time dependence of exponential i omega t it generally has a time dependence of exponential i omega t so this term will become d2 us dt2 minus omega square exponential i omega t or you can say minus omega square us so if we put, put it back in here we get m omega square us equal to c us plus 1 us minus 1 minus 2 us now this has a traveling wave solution and that solution is u s plus minus 1 equal to u exponential i k a s plus minus 1 right so if you put it back in here then we will get minus m omega square u now this us will replace with u and we'll say that as u and then this c so u will come out common and then exponential i k a into s plus 1 exponential i k a into s minus 1 and then minus 2 because this us is now equivalent to u so this is what we will get so this u cancels on both the sides and and uh, this exponential ika that we can take out exponential i k a sorry actually uh, here this is not only this is exponential i k a this u s will be so 2 uh, this will be exponential i k a 
that will be the case and u here also will be one exponential i k right because the solution is in this form u s plus is plus minus one equal to u exponential i k a s plus minus one but when one is not there then u s is just u exponential i k nothing but it so this will uh, come out and exponential i k a plus exponential minus i k a minus two so this term gets cancelled and minus m omega square equal to c now this term will give me 2 cos k a minus 2 all right so here we have a relation between omega versus k which is nothing but our dispersion relation so now we know how uh, the wave will propagate right now also where one more important thing that i want to talk about is so if you take us plus one by us this ratio then you will get exponential ika because exponential i k a s will be cancelled both from upper and lower side so now only which k values are important so only the k values so only this exponential i k a i k a will have distinct values only between minus pi to pi all the distinct values then it will just keep on repeating itself so this defines this k range and that will be k will be less than pi greater than minus pi so this from here we get k less than pi by a and greater than minus pi by a so this is your first Brillouin zone that we all know in condensed matter physics is very important this is the first Brillouin zone so only the momentum value within this range is important all right so this is all about elastic vibration in elastic waves and uh, I shall make some more videos uh, and come up with some interesting concepts in physics. Alright, thank you guys.